everybody has a story to tell. I think we all have something messed up that happened to us in our life. But when you push past it and you look back, it's like, I got out of hell, bro. Like, it doesn't matter, you know? So it comes from pain. You know, there's always pain in, in the love that you have, you know? No, I, lo I love what you just said. You're like, yo, man, like, I got out of hell. And guys like you and me, we're like, oh, man, what do we want to do with our life? Bro, we're trying to throw life rafts right. back. Like, bro, they all you people in hell. they don't know. They don't know. They see you smiling. They yeah. see the body. They see, like, sure. all this other stuff, the charisma. But they don't They don't know necessarily. Not, not a bad thing because you don't share, you know, your deepest, darkest stories with everybody. But a lot of people don't understand, like, people that are like that have the, the most difficult path, bro. The most difficult path. And there's always pain behind that smile, you know what I'm saying? But it's fulfilling, bro. Yeah, like in terms of knowledge and and and, and just what I've learned that's helped me, I'm trying to free, free, free. Man, it's not it's not an agenda. I got out. I'm trying to help you get out. And that's to me, that's what I mean. It's for me, that's just how I've chosen this fitness path in life. Uh, because man, there's nothing as rewarding as man when, when someone just feeling down on themselves. And we're like, okay, like what are we as a being? We got a mental aspect, a physical aspect, a spiritual aspect. My gift, I can help you dial in the physical, and I'm telling you, so when you get into the reps, and nobody can take that from you, and you just turn yourself into this physical being that you are absolutely on fire for, man, it just changes the mental game. Like nobody can tell you anything. No, not the negative inner voice, not the negative external voices. Your confidence blocks it. And it's not, it's not like an, an ego thing. It's uh, I want to turn myself into the best version of myself, and I want to contribute that to society, to my loved ones, to my friends, to my business. Right? right? That comes from team sports, honestly. I yeah. When playing back, like, you just learn how to deal with different kind of people, you know, you always have that guy on the team that's he's really good, but his confidence is kind of down, and sometimes you have those guys that aren't that good, and their confidence is down, and you, you got to bring them with you if you want to get to championships, you know what I mean, so that, that's a gift that you had from a young age, you know, I think a lot of people don't have that, uh, that ability, uh, but I think everybody can develop that ability, like you said, yeah, bro, yeah. just through better in yourself, bro, if you're the best version of yourself, like, you're going to... Like, bro, when I first saw you in the gym, bro, like, I was like, okay, like, this guy, he's on his shit. And I'm not the jealous type. Like, when I see that energy and I feel that energy, it's like, no, I want that too. Like, I gotta be around you. Like, it's, it's like a magnet, bro. You know, because all that, all those uh, habits of excellence, you know, I might not get it to your level, but at least I'm still practicing the same things that you are, so I'm gonna get close. You know, I'm going to get somewhat close, then you throw your own twist on it. That's basically I'm saying that from my standpoint with me and Blake's relationship. And what I'm saying to you guys is that you can do the same thing. You can be inspired or you can inspire just through your actions. You know what I mean? So don't get down on yourself. Be confident and work. Bro, you can do the uh, team sports. That's why I opened up Team Blake Fit to go wild. Like, anyone can be a ball. I don't care. Weight loss or your physique competitor. You've never touched a weight before. You've never played a team sport before. I think that it's crazy that after high school, college, there's just not really opportunities to be on a team. We're humans. We thrive in tribes. We thrive in teams. Where we pull strength, accountability, discipline, persistence, inspiration, all that stuff. That's what, that's what our team is about. And, oh, you're struggling with nutrition? Great. Free. Free information. Like, just reach out. You've got to ask the question. We have an amazing team of coaches that are here to help, and, you know, especially, like, I mean, I made every day a goal. Obviously, I can't give that away for free, but my goal is to deliver more value per scoop than any competitor. And that doesn't mean just in the nutrient profile. Like, I want to, people that are just struggling, they don't know where to start, they be a beginner, man, wow, one scoop. So supplementation is A+. Plus. You have, like, world-class, pro-level supplementation, which is what it is takes, it's tough to change your body, bro, it takes time, it's, it takes a lot of reps, yep. you might as well put the right nutrients in your bloodstream, because your motivation, whether you fall off or you stay motivated, is going to come from your results, right. undeniable results in the mirror, that's how it works, like, if right. you don't see results after three weeks of putting the work, yeah, you get discouraged, you're going to fall off, that's how, you know, so, putting the right nutrients in your bloodstream, 
and putting the right knowledge in your mind, that's that's the system. That's that's where we start, right? And so everyone that buys everyday gold, man, they get all, all the knowledge, all the workouts, all the everything I've ever created. Man, it's all free. It's all free. <laughs> Speaking of everyday gold, so like, what inspired you to come up with that supplement? So it it dates it dates way back, right? I'm 18 years old. So I'm a seven scene, right? 18 years old, senior in high school. You've been there. Kings of the world. We're untouchable. We're right. untouchable. We're untouchable. Right. And uh, homecoming dance. Uh, that's at the beginning of the year. You know, homecoming football game and everything like that. You've got the homecoming party afterwards. Well, our homecoming party was a camp out uh, in the woods. Big bonfire. Where was this at? Where was Virginia. Virginia. Okay, back in Virginia. Virginia. So we're, we're still the same. Virginia. And I went to sleep next to the campfire just... Thinking like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm untouchable, oh, you know. Man, I, I woke up three days later, I woke up from a coma, and uh, my jaws were wired shut, I couldn't talk. And what had happened was, classic wrong place, wrong time. Somebody I'd never met who got kicked out of our school for like fighting and stuff like that. He tried to kill me while I was sleeping. Uh, just death sentence, right? So speak on like what substances he was on because right, like right. That, was, so, that was all witness testimony all you know I mean, this ended up being a big big court case over four and a half years and uh, so he kicked me in the head and stomped on my head until it just lights out and just runs in your sleep yeah runs in the wood leaves me for dead so ambulance comes on the couch. I wake up three days later jaws wide shut there's this is titanium from here to here and I went from being a 4-0 GPA student I was an All-American lacrosse player, so I was headed to Princeton to play lacrosse. Uh, and after I woke up, I mean, you know, I went to cognitive therapy and everything. They're like, you have to go to a special college for brain injury for kids, Damn. right? You might never leave the care of your parents. You might never leave a normal life. You might not get married, whatever it is. You need to manage your expectations. That's the thing that cut me to the core the most was like, you need to manage your expectations and like, Part of my French, but like, well, fuck that, right. bro. No way. Like, there, and I, but I can't talk. I can't express myself. Jaws wide shut, right? And so I see my parents and doctors are talking about me like I'm not there. Like, oh, you know, you might have to take care of them, whatever. And in my head, I'm like, okay, this is day, this is day one. Like, this is day one. Like, I'm gonna take control of my own narrative. There is no option B. They're saying because this incident happened to me, I'm only gonna become. 70% of the man I was destined to be. And at the time when this happened, you, you felt untouchable. I was, right? like, on top of the I was already I was already accepted at every college I wanted to go to. I was captain of the lacrosse team. Just all star. Oh, yeah, all star. I was just all star. Like just winning, bro. winning. Yeah, winning. that's big time winning. You're either gonna win on the field or out the field or both. Right. And in I woke, that situation, I woke up in a wheelchair. No sports. And, and the only answers I got from the doctors were. Here's this calcium so that your bones can fuse together and you need vitamin D3 so you can absorb the calcium. Great, what else you got? I'll put that in my body every day the rest of my life. They're like, what do you have for my brain? They're like, nah, it's just time. I don't accept that, nah, I can't. That's, that's ridiculous. Like, I'm taking control of the narrative. I'm gonna put every nutrient in my body and in my head it was like, their narrative of me was, because this happened, I'm only going to become 70% of the man I was destined to be. In my head, because this thing happened to me, I'm going to become obsessed with training and nutrition. I'll be 120% of the man I was going to be. Because of this, I'm now going supernova. <laughs> and so, yeah, so I went to Virginia Tech. I was like, well, while I'm studying in college, I might as well study the things that are going to put me back together. So that's biology, bioscience, nutrition. I started studying all the things, all the nutrients, all the superfoods that I could put in my body every single day. So even if I don't get back beyond what I was going to be, I did everything. Like no excuses, no stone left unturned. I'm going to do the work, I'm going to do the research, and I'm going to stay committed and disciplined and make sure I'm giving my body every opportunity to heal every single day. So it wasn't just the calcium. 
and the vitamin D3, which is a staple in every day. That's how we started the formula. Okay. But I was like, who else is trying to rebuild themselves, right? Because I couldn't eat food for three months. So I withered away. All my muscles just withered away. I went from an all-star lacrosse player to like just rib showing. Now. Rib showing. No food. Three months. Like psychologically, that is warped. Yeah. I mean, you can only drink so many insured. <laughs> Swim fast before you like really start thinking some dark thoughts. You know what that insure is? Because I don't play. Right? Me and, me and, my, me and my grandma were on the same diet. <laughs> she got no teeth. Oh, man. Oh. So that's, that's how every day started. And it said uh, I wasn't trying to sell anyone on it. It was, this is my formula to unlock my champion form. And it has nothing to do with anyone else. And, uh, man, I was, I got, I got super excited. Started, you know, like, even before I got my mind back, I started looking some type of way because I was like, all right, there's 20 forms of creatine. Which one's the best? Why? I'm not just going to look on weapon, I'm going to test on myself, see which one I really feel. I'm going to call BS on all these supplements and only put supplements, only nutrients in their best forms in, in my everyday formula so that I can be the absolute A+. Plus. I know that beyond a shadow of a doubt, like I'm just getting that A plus nutrition and just kept adding and adding and adding. It's like I wanted to be, right? So I had this amazing formula that was... Uh, Combine with my multivitamins, so I get all the vitamins in my brain and my body. But I'm also getting that like pre workout pump in energy because that was the first, before I got my mind back, I got my, my body back. And, uh, and then I was having trouble learning still. Uh, so, cool, nootropics. What are the best nootropics? This is this category that's supposed to help you focus, but some of them result in like bad crashes, some right. of them. You don't really feel it. Notice. So I was just the perfect test subject as a brain injury victim. Which ones are the best? For me, I like Alpha GPC because it's you know, synthesized from soy. It's a natural source. And Hooper ZNA. It's an extract from a Chinese peat moss. I mean, I can't just... I try to get my nutrition from whole foods as much as possible, but I don't know about your grocery store. There's not really a moss section. <laughs> you know, like, like a, there's no... You know, so there's just certain super nutrients out there that they're hard to get. They're hard yeah, to they're, get. they're just hard to get. And I wanted to make them easy to get for me so I could be learning, like not just learning, but like maximizing my learning. Right. And then, so wow, man. And I noticed that the nootropics, they weren't just helping me focus in class. They were actually waking up my connection to my body, my, my mind muscle connection in the gym. Wow, man, I can focus more on the squeeze and that's translating over. Cool. Those are, the, those are my two favorites that we had. So now we got the multivitamin, we got the pre-workout, we got the nootropics. But I was getting such good squeezes, I was cramping and having to reach for a Gatorade. I'm like, this is, why? Put the electrolytes in the formula. Right. So I'm set up, ready to go. I don't have to pause. And I start realizing that there's not one product in the industry that features all of these ingredients. And uh, finally, and 2020 happened. It's been, and I've been doing this 15 years now. We've been perfecting the formula. We got dozens of uh, MPC championship titles for physique. Uh, I won first place at the All Natural Ironman. That's that's a drug tested and a polygraph show. So no steroids, baby. You know, I mean, you know they, they hook you up to the lie detector test. Lie detector test, yes. Yes, yeah, polygraph. Because a lot of guys cheat on the the urine analysis. They Mori Povich them to get the championship. You know what I mean? Uh, and so, man, you know, formula was right. That was perfect. And 2020 came around. That was the first time I uh, ever suffered from depression. And I, I had no reason to be depressed other than I was lacking brotherhood, right? I mean, you see, like, we got gregarious personalities. We hit it off right away. Bro, to be locked down. Like, I was in San Francisco. I was the first place locked down. And they acted like it was the end of the world, huh? In, 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 in the, the world, world, like somebody sneezed a mile away, we all gonna die. I was like, oh my, like, stupid. Bro, and like, but, but in, in reality, the first time I actually left my house was uh, to march for BLM. Like, that was a big deal. I mean, our, our SF got tore up. Like, we had Hummers and they, they straight up deployed the military. 
Uh, and so we had soldiers with M16s and like, yo, it was nuts. And I was, I was leave the house. I said, don't leave the house. Oh, we had curfew and everything. And uh, yeah, yeah, they. But I mean, you got to turn up for you know squad, wow. right. right? I mean, they get like I mean that's what that's what the movement was about. Was like, all right, you know, I'm putting my help to the side because that's not the priority. It's about the health of the community. Um, and so that was it. Like you know, that was the dose of like camaraderie and brotherhood. Then we were like locked down again for the next months. And so it doesn't matter what kind of little party favor, like, oh, let's have, like, you know, and I wasn't even looking for, I had the love of my life with me. And still I was getting depressed because, bro, on the soul recharge, I'm an extrovert, right? Introverts can read a book and they recharge and they can still go out and enjoy social atmosphere and that drains them. They can have fun, but it's great and they need a long time to get recharged. For me, I'm the opposite. I can enjoy a low time being a student of self, self map, whatever it is, but I get recharged from vibing, right? New brotherhood. So to not make a new brother or see any of my brothers in a social environment where we can just vibe out and dance and like celebrate life, right. bro, I was, I was, so, but like, whatever, it's, it's tough, but like, I've had tough circumstances before. It's like, you gotta, whatever, that's your circumstance, now what? Now do something about it, right? And so I was like, all right, I'm going, like, what, what, what do I know? I know nutrients. What are the nutrients that are gonna get my happy juices flowing? And so you look at the happy juices, the ones that replenish the fastest, it's dope, right? Whether it's something, I mean, that's the whole thing. That's why people like chocolate, that's why people like, Illegal things, that's why people like a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Sex, you know, like, yeah. right? It's the reward is dopamine. If you work out, you if you really push it, you get that high, that's dopamine. Right? So the dopamine precursors that I found that will really, really uh, get those juices flowing, just get me back stoked Don't work out like regardless of whether uh, you know brothers there is Makuna Purines, which is an extract from the velvet bean. Amazing power of velvet bean. Velvet bean extract, yeah, really, yeah. right? Right? They know velvet beans at Whole Foods. <laughs> and uh, you combine that with uh, uh, black maca. It's red maca, yellow maca, but black maca is the most potent. It comes from Peru. And it's amazing. It's powerful adaptogenic, like holistic solutions to you know, depression, low T, things like that. That's how that hemisphere is solving it. And I met with a holistic doctor over Zoom from Sri Lanka. And so that region, India, Sri Lanka, they use ashwagandha. Which is becoming really, really popular, and um, you know today it's like the supplement world. People are like, "Oh, take this ashwagandha," but there's so it just it, like anything, it just varies in potency and quality so much. And so I'm like, "What's the best? What's the most potent?" Because I like microdosing, right? I I test my liver and my kidneys and my heart every month, if not every other month, to make sure ethically the things I'm putting in my own body every single day are healthy for everybody else to put in their body every day the rest of their life. And so, ashwagandha, there's this, uh, the most widely studied extract is KSM-66, just the specific form of ashwagandha that's been in 22 gold standard human clinical trials. And that's the one that I notice that when I combine it, not just by itself, but when I combine that ashwagandha extract with this specific black maca, and this specific amount of velvet bean, wow, man, you get, you just want to dance, right? And I see everyone pre-gaming for the club and for the parties because they expect to have a good time, but then they don't pre-game every morning for life, for their workouts, and then they wonder why they're not having a good time. Right. Like, man. You see a lot of people down in the gym. Yeah. You see a lot of people really right? enjoying it. And so it's been such a powerful addition for my clients because even if they're starting out and maybe they're more in the weight loss category and you know that usually comes with a little bit of insecurity when you're looking in the mirror, you're studying yourself, you're like, man, I got a long way to go. If we can get that dopamine flowing in a healthy, natural way, now they have a subconscious, now they're feeling themselves. Their focus more that voice changes from like the negative voice beating themselves up to like, all right, man, we're on the path, here we go, let's get it. And so it just, it, it didn't just help me, 
is helping all my clients. And I feel like the whole world's kind of coming out of the, the COVID show right now, feeling some type of way, slowly edging back into the gym. So that's how I came up with the five uh, pillars of every day. Now it's everyday goal, right? We got the multivitamin, the electrolytes, the pre-workout pumping energy. We got that nootropic, so you can stay razor sharp focused right. while you got that dopamine boost just high. And also, man, I realized that people they'll buy multivitamins, and when I ask them, man, oh, that's cool, that's cool, you got this multivitamin, but do you really feel it? Mm -hmm. And they're like, I don't know, not really. My pee turns yellow, and I'm like, man, well. Why, why not give a vitamin that you can feel? Beyond a shadow of a doubt, I take this, man, I feel it. Ooh, I'm, I'm, wow, it's in my veins. So with the dopamine boost blend, and this was just a surprise, I wasn't planning on it, people have that subconscious pull to wake up and immediately they're like, man, I'll start my day hiking. And they take everyday goal to get that dopamine boost blend, and it just comes with the whole multivitamin. Your body has everything it needs to thrive and the mind and the body. So I'm like, wow, this is really like incentivizing kids to eat their vegetables by offering them dessert. <laughs> like, yo, yeah. It does taste good. good. Yeah, yeah, right? You can be like, hey, man, like, it tastes good and, and catch a little wave, you know, but you're also able to focus. And, um, and so that's, that's how I build every day go. Okay. Wow. You see, your story, we've known each other for about what, like a month now. Yeah. We've worked out a couple of times together and like I had no idea. Like everything you just told me is brand new, y'all. Like we didn't script none of this, nothing like that. It's just real talk. Um, and I see I see a lot of similarities in this, you know what I'm saying? Like almost I feel like we're almost cut from the same cloth, bro, hearing the story. Um, I had no idea you were a competitive athlete like that. You know, and I find that the fact that you were able to find a new passion. Like you said, reinvent yourself. You know, like that, that means a lot because I think some of y'all need to hear that. I think some people have gone through, um, you know, mishaps and, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you fall down and you don't know what to do. And sometimes doing the next right thing is the best thing you can do. And that's what you did, bro. Like, real talk, that's tough. Like, I, I respect it so much more, you know what I mean? Yeah, hey, I appreciate it. No, I do, I do. I respect yeah. it so much more because I felt like I was there. No one tried to kill me. But when I couldn't play basketball anymore, bro, like I felt like I was walking down Main Street naked. It was like, like you said, I, there's no plan B. I was like, no, yeah. there's no plan B. Like, we're going to make this happy. And every single day of my life, I'm going to dedicate myself to my craft. Yeah. And, you know, the fact that you can channel that energy into a product that honestly does work. Like, yo, when I take that everyday gold, bro, like I feel something. Something's different. About 30 minutes, I'm, I'm dancing in the gym. <laughs> I got a smile on my face. Now, a part of that is I just love to train naturally, but there's definitely something, something there. So thanks for letting me know about all the ingredients. Man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm trying to find a way to articulate it, but if you're nurturing the inside, you know, eventually that's going to show on the outside. But yeah. It starts from within. So I think this starts with reps. I think it starts with what um, do you mean by reps? Adversity. Well, just getting in the gym and. Showing up. Yeah, I feel like there's no substitution for repetition. There's substitution yeah. for a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. But. You know, did you do 10 reps? Okay. Did you do no reps? Okay. And when you get past that threshold of, okay, I'm pushing past the things I don't want to do and you conquer that demon every single day, maybe not necessarily in the gym, but in the workplace, financially, um, in your marriage, in your friendships, whatever you got going on, if you're on it spot on, nobody can tell you anything because now you're getting your reps in every single day. I mean, that's how I felt with basketball. Like I would get up. 250 shots every single day, minimum, discipline, right? So when I'm in the game and there's 10,000 people in the gym saying that you suck, oh, not really. I shot this shot yeah. well before you were right. So the same goes for anything, you know, and you got to where you're at, petition, yeah, absolutely, over, yeah. over again. Um, so that's kind of where it comes from. I wasn't always confident, bro. Like, I, I'm right there with everybody else, but I'm only human just like everybody else. Um, it took me a while to kind of find myself and not worry about what I'm doing. It's got to be earned. Say. It's got to be earned. Yeah. And uh, just a clo little closing thing. Done is better than perfect. That was the most powerful statement coach ever said to me. Done is better than perfect. Whether it's business or going to the gym or anything. Done is better than perfect. Everyone's always waiting to launch their side hustle until it's perfect. Right. And they never launch it. They never it launch never it. happens. It's ah. like only an idea. Right? Because they're worried about what other people are going to think. Done, just done, just get done, and then you can improve. 
Done is better than perfect, 100% of the time. And this podcast is a perfect example. We weren't planning on doing this. He was just like, hey, I wanna do something. I was like, done, 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 done. Start setting up the camera. And we just started vibing and talking. Um, and that's it, done is better than perfect. Number one in the books, appreciate right. it. Get that ass in the gym, all right? Yeah! That was lit.